535 right now in May, Fox 43 reported on a number of issues when it comes to the efficiency of Pennsylvania government. Among them, a lack of transparency when it comes to where they use taxpayer dollars. Today, the state Senate is shedding light on those requests. Fox 43's Matt Mazel shows you where you can find how your state senator is spending your money in today's Capitol Beat. For the first time, the Pennsylvania Senate is opening its books for the public to see. I know some of you already put your office expenses online, and we all should do more to make sure the public, public sees exactly how we conduct our business. That was Senate President Pro Temp Jake Corman back in January, calling for more transparency in state government. Nine months later, all 50 state senators have their expenses posted online. This just makes sense in 2021. Uh, that it's more accessible and it's taxpayers money so it should be and it's easy to find all you do is you go to the state's website click senate scroll down to right to know law find the link for monthly expenses and click whichever senator you want some people though say it isn't transparent enough still having problems with the fact there's no competitive bid for most of the contracts no invoices for per diems and we still need to find out how the slush funds are being spent Government activist Eric Epstein says, though, it is a good first step. Fox 43 reported on per diems back in May. State lawmakers can spend up to $178 to $200 a day. They're supposed to be for meals and lodging. Except there's no way to prove that because per diems don't require receipts. They need to go a lot further, that's obvious. And we also got to give the Senate Republicans credit because the other caucuses haven't done this. Epstein also says there's room to improve. All reports come in PDF form, which make it time consuming to add up. And the expenses are only for the last couple of months. Anything before June 2021 still needs a right to know public records request. Ultimately, those legislators have to be accountable uh, to uh, the voters and the voters with the information provided should be able to make the decision at election time. At the end of the day, the issue that matters most is for legislators to understand it's not their money. Attempts to reach the state house to see if leaders plan to do the same thing were not immediately returned. With your Fox 43 Capital Beat, I'm Matt Mazel.